Hi everybody, welcome to another Tech Check video. This time it will be all about cases. It does not matter if you play a maybe not so expensive modern beginner cello or a Stradivarius. Our instrument, of course, is our um, precious and irreplaceable companion. So it's obvious that we want to protect it as best as we can. Um, but the ability to protect an instrument is only one important aspect when deciding for a case. This video is not claiming to give you an overview of the product range of all the different suppliers and there are a lot. Um, I haven't tried out all the different cases and I think my point of view is only then interesting when I'm able to talk about long-term impressions and experiences. But of course I work and travel with my cellos uh, and my cello cases for many many years now and uh, I think uh, I know what the important aspects are when buying a case. Number one, protection. If that would be the only important aspect, we of course all would buy a flight case, probably a case made by Alan Stevenson. These cases are either made from fiberglass or carbon composite, whereby carbon is not only lighter but also the most stable material. But even made from carbon fiber, this tank among the cello cases, extremely safe though, but with its nearly 5 kilos in its lightest version, still quite heavy. So we come to number two, weight. There are very light cases made from carbon fiber by Musilia, A-Case, Bam, Geva, Pacato, Accord, Bugaro e Clemente, and perhaps even more I haven't heard of yet. But there are two more important aspects to pay attention to. Number three, practicability. This is not only important because the smallest flaws can make the difference between loving or hating a case, but when you deal with it every day, practicability is a huge and important aspect of safety. That brings us to the next um, point, number four, the price. Uh, of course, that one is obvious and I have to say it's not the most important one when it's about protecting a priceless instrument. Many of you would add number five, the looks, but tastes are very different, so I will not make that a very important point. So what we know so far is that the perfect cello case is of course safe, light and very well thought out. Um, over the years I had cases by Musilia, Geva, Bugato e Clemente and some more I already forgot. And of course I asked around uh, among my colleagues to learn from their experiences and to get some tips which of all these cases is maybe the best one. And that led me uh, like 10 years ago to the Accord cases. And I think one year ago or so, I heard about a new case by the firm A-Case. It's no coincidence that those cases have strong similarities because the designer of the Accord case, Robert Schenk, is the founder of the new company A-Case. So I decided to buy one of those new cases for my modern cello. After all my experiences and after all I heard from my colleagues, I can tell that maybe by far those two cases are the best on the market. This is why I will show you some aspects of the cases and some differences and will tell you which one I would buy today. First, you have to have a little overview of the product and price range of both companies. The Accord cases are available in different weights and different degrees of robustness. There are models from 2.3 kilos up to 3.5 kilos and a price range from 2,540 euros for the lightweight model to 1,650 euros for the heavier model. The A case is available in lightweight, then fully equipped it has a weight of 2.8 kilos and a price of 1,500 euros. So very obvious is the price difference. FYI, both firms offer pretty lightweight flight cases too but today it's all about cello cases for the daily use. I have the Accord case model called Standard. It is like the A-Case 2.8 kilos light 
and has a price of 2,290 euros, so it's 790 euros more. But is it better? Evaluating a case, we have some very important aspects of safety and practicability to pay attention to. Number one, stability. When a case is lying, but even more when it's standing, it's always in danger to fall. When it does not have a stable and broad stand, it is even more dangerous. And be aware, when a case is falling, no carbon fiber shell can help. So whichever case you choose, make sure to add the stabilizing feet, both a case and a cord, offer them as an extra. They give much more security than the normal ones do. Number two, water tightness. Many cases have rubber lips to seal the case. Those are always a weak spot, not as durable as the carbon fiber shell and of course a potential break point. Both my cases are waterproof without those rubber lips and I think it looks very awesome and much better than with those rubber lips. Number three, thermal insulation. In the summer, the sun is sometimes burning on the case and you can help to protect your cello by choosing a light color like white, as I did when I bought my Accord case. When buying my A case, I really wanted to have a three-dimensional carbon fiber look and the white in the varnish is not really helping much against the sun. So I have to be very careful. But of course, you can buy both cases in every imaginable color. In winter, it's very important that the case doesn't let the cold in too fast. Both cases are very, very light, so they both don't have the best thermal insulation. It's enough for most of the ways you have to do, but I wouldn't take one of those cases on a winter hike with me. Here, no case is better than the other. A little tip for the cold season, protect your cello with a sleeve. That's weight um, you don't have to carry around in summer. Number three, practicability. As I said before, Practicability is extremely important because when something is not thought out or impractical, it is very annoying and dangerous too. I have two examples. When putting the cello in the case, we need two hands for that. But we have the cello and the bow in one hand. So we must put the bow in the case first to have two hands free to put the cello in the case. Of course, you can close the buckle for the bow afterwards, but it is nice and more secure if you can do that before putting the cello into the case. The Accord case has a snap button and it is not easy to close it with one hand, in particular when the case is lying, what is recommended by the manufacturer. You may think, come on, that can't be so important. But believe me, when you have this small anger multiple times a day for years, you are happy when your next case is a little bit different. The A case is different indeed. It has the same buckles for the bow as well as for closing the whole case. They are very light and smaller and better to use with one hand than the snappers. But how are they compared with the buckles on the outside of the Accord case? Well, I have to say that uh, the handling of both is perfectly easy with one hand. But the buckles of the Accord case break very easily and often. My first Accord case had seven broken buckles after three years. They changed them for 20 euro each, but I think that must not happen when a case is so extraordinarily expensive. The buckles on the A case are so simple, without metal springs or anything, that I can't imagine what could go wrong. Here we have two very convincing advantages of the A case. So if I would have to buy a case again today, I would choose the A case, not only because it's much more advanced, but because it's a lot less expensive. By the way, the guys from A case are really creative in their designs. Um, they are the number one in customization and make everything possible. And not only I would choose an A case again, Misha Maisky has one, Keras has one, uh, the two guys from Two Cellos have cases for the normal and the electric celli. Giovanni Solima has one. Of course, these are all unique custom-made cases, as mine is. I asked for white three-dimensional varnish, what I have never seen before on a cello case, and I figured it must look very, very cool. And I'm very pleased with it, and I think it really looks awesome. By the way, very important, I paid for both of my cello cases, so what I'm telling you here is my 
independent opinion. Just want to help you a little bit finding your perfect future cello case. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.